This video will go over several practice problems utilizing the exponent rules we learned in videos part 1 through 4. So I would recommend doing the remaining problems in your notes. Numbers 29 through 34. Complete them all and then watch this video to check your answers. So pause the video. Alright, if we look at example 29, there's more than one correct way to do this. When I first look at it, I see this multiplication symbol. So I know the rule when we multiply is to add the exponents. So I'm going to, because the bases are the same, add negative 9 plus 4 is negative 5. And when I get a negative exponent, it moves to the denominator. And if I have a denominator, I need a numerator, so I'm going to put a 1 here. Another way to go about this problem is if you have a negative exponent, it moves to the denominator. And then when you multiply fractions, you go straight across. And then when the bases are the same, and you have division here, the rule is to subtract. So 4 minus 9 is negative 5. And when you have a negative exponent, it moves to the denominator. So you can see that we get the exact same answer here. And remember if you forget to subtract the exponents that you can also draw it out that you would have 4 and then you would have 9 in the denominator and you would have these 4 cancel out with these 4 leaving you 5 in the denominator. So several different ways to look at this problem and get that arrive to that same answer. All right, here when I look at this problem, I see this division bar. So that means if the bases are the same, which they are, they're both y's. The rule when you're dividing is to subtract the exponents. So 1 minus 10 is negative 9. And when you get a negative exponent when you subtract, it moves to the denominator. So instead of leaving our answer like this, the negative tells us it moves to the denominator. And that is our answer. And remember, if we forget what we're supposed to do with the exponents here, if we draw it out, we would see this 1 on the, in the numerator cancels out with 1 here and then you would be left with 9 in the numerator. Alright, next example here, the 2 and the negative 4 are coefficients and we know that we have two parentheses next to each other so we know we're multiplying. So the 2 and the negative 4 are coefficients, we're going to multiply just like normal, it's negative 8. And then the next thing I see is that I have bases that are the same. I have an x here and an x here. So the rule is when you're multiplying to add the exponents. So negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3. And when you have a negative exponent, it goes to the denominator. And then we have the y right here. But the y doesn't have another y over here, so the y to the fifth will stay put here. And that is our final answer. In this problem, we're multiplying. So we know the rule is if we're multiplying and the bases are the same, then we're going to add the exponents. So negative 4 plus negative 6 plus 5 is equal to negative 5. So since the exponent would be 
a to the negative 5, and we don't want to leave our answers with negative exponents, it's going to go to the denominator. And then we have the same bases here and here. So the rule is to add the exponents. So negative 2 plus 5 is 3. So since it's positive, we're going to have b to the third power here in the numerator. And that is our final answer. All right, in this problem here, we see the division bar. So the 10 and the negative 2, we're going to simplify just like normal. We could divide both of these numbers by 2. Or 10 divided by negative 2 is negative 5. And then we have common bases here. We have an A and an A. So the rule when we're dividing here, when we divide, is to subtract the exponents. It's always top minus bottom. So 5 minus 5 is 0. So instead of writing a to the 0, we learned that anything to the 0 power is 1. But negative 5 times 1 is just negative 5. So essentially these just cancel out and make 1. So we can we don't need to write 1 since there's something in front of it. Okay, so we have common bases here. So the rule is to subtract top exponent minus bottom exponent. 7 minus 10 is negative 3. So instead of writing b to the negative 3, we know that if it has a negative exponent, that it moves to the denominator. And then here we have common bases. So we have negative 3 minus 1. And negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. So instead of writing c to the negative 4, we know that if it has a negative exponent, it moves to the denominator. Whoops. And when we move it, this negative goes away. Alright, here, same thing, has a division bar, so we know our rule when we're dividing is to subtract the exponents if the bases are the same. Well, the 8 and the 16 are coefficients, so we'll divide both of them by 8. And 8 sixteenths simplifies to 1 half. And then we have the bases are the same here. We have a to the third over a to the seventh. So we subtract 3 minus 7 is negative 4. So instead of writing a to the negative 4, we know to get rid of the negative exponent that it moves to the denominator. Okay, now we have the b's. Be very careful here. We have the, expo or the bases are the same, so we're going to subtract. That's a negative 5 minus a negative 2. So negative 5 minus negative 2 is negative 3. So instead of writing b to the negative 3, we know that if something has a negative exponent, it's going to move to the denominator. So that would be our final answer.